Now let's see what's happening on the job front in Lake Solbegon today with job interview with the vampire. <laughs> The foremost employment service, Mr. Um, Nosferatu. Mr. Nosferatu, yes. You seem to have a long list of previous employment, from grave digger to blood donor specialist. Now, what was your last occupation? Uh, vampire. What? Vampire. I'm sorry, is this some industry phrase I'm not aware of? No, I was a vampire. Well, technically, I'm still a vampire, but I want to branch out from there to do something more fulfilling. I see. Now, are there any work limitations we should know about? Oh, I, I can only work nights. Uh, mm -hmm. Unless it's indoors with no windows, like maybe an interior office or even production facility, but then it makes commutes rather difficult, so I'd rather work graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you feel, feel are your best strengths as an employee? Uh, longevity. I, I really want a job that supplies a 401k. I really like long, long-term investments. <laughs> Well, do you have any references? You mean ones that are alive? Well, uh, most of them are dead. I mean, <laughs> one way or another. <sighs> so, you prefer to work a graveyard shift? <laughs> Let me tell you, I live in the graveyard. The graveyard is my home. <laughs> no problem with that. Now, do you have any problems working in hazardous environments or toxic substances? You mean like garlic? Italian restaurants, that sort of thing? <laughs> Like um, industrial waste or chemicals. Yeah, oh, I, I won't work about holy water or anything with a cross in it or with mirrors. I probably should just say working in a church would be an acceptable period. Any objection to physical work? No. Tedious repetitive work? No. Requiring manual dexterity? No. Do you work well with children? I enjoy children. <laughs> would you say that you're a people person? <laughs> I would definitely say I'm a people person. I love people. Just <laughs> love them to death. <laughs> well, I think we should be able to find something special for you. That's splendid. <laughs> but I wouldn't stake my life on it. <laughs> Don't ever say wooden stake ever again.